In this video, we will study the operating pressures of the refrigerant gas R404A in a household freezer, the parts of the equipment, and its operation. On the screen, we observe the refrigeration circuit of a household freezer that operates with refrigerant gas R404A. The R404A refrigerant enters the evaporator in a liquid state at a pressure of 29.4 pounds per square inch. With this pressure, it is achieved that the R404A in the evaporator has a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius. With this low temperature and the help of the fan, the heat from the food quickly passes to the refrigerant R404A, causing it to evaporate. As the refrigerant absorbs the heat from the food, they cool down, allowing for preservation. The heat from the food goes to the R404A refrigerant in the evaporator, causing the refrigerant to change from a liquid to a gaseous state. The R404A, now in a gaseous state, and with a slight temperature increase called superheat, is suctioned by the compressor. For this case, let's assume that the temperature of the R404A refrigerant in a gaseous state is minus 15 degrees Celsius. This means that the R404A refrigerant goes from minus 20 degrees Celsius to minus 15 degrees Celsius, so in this equipment, the superheat is 5 degrees Celsius. Although the temperature has a slight change, we can approximate and say that the pressure of the R404A at the evaporator outlet is practically the same, still 29.4 pounds per square inch. The R404A, now in a vapor state, heads to the compressor through the suction pipe, which we can identify as the thickest pipe of the compressor. The pressure and temperature of the R404A refrigerant increase considerably in the compressor. The pressure of the R404A at the compressor outlet reaches a value close to 300 pounds per square inch. The temperature of the R404A at the compressor outlet can be around 60 degrees Celsius. In the condenser, the refrigerant must lose the heat absorbed from the food and the energy absorbed in the compressor. This heat must be expelled in the condenser into the environment. This heat dissipation process is favored by the high pressure that the R404A refrigerant gained in the compressor. As the R404A refrigerant loses heat in the condenser, it changes from a gaseous state to a liquid state. The pressure of the R404A refrigerant in the condenser remains at 300 pounds per square inch, but the R404A decreases its temperature considerably. This decrease in temperature of the R404A in the condenser allows the refrigerant to transition from a vapor state to a liquid state. The R404A, now in a liquid state and at a temperature close to the ambient, exits the condenser and heads to the capillary tube to restart the cycle. In the capillary tube, the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant decrease considerably, so it returns to the initial pressure of 29.4 pounds per square inch and minus 20 degrees Celsius, restarting the refrigeration cycle. The R404A, now in a liquid state, with low pressure and temperature, returns to the evaporator to initiate the refrigeration cycle again. On the screen, we are showing other pressure values commonly used with our 404A. The R404A refrigerant presents excellent efficiency. It is internally composed of three gases, namely R134A, R125, and R143A. Since it is internally composed of various gases, the R404A must be introduced or recharged into the equipment, always in a liquid phase. The R404A operates with Coe-type oil. 
The most commonly used viscosity for oil with R404A is 32 centistokes, although it will ultimately depend on the compressor manufacturer. The main drawback of R404A is its high global warming potential, close to 3922, which is why it is subject to ecological environmental restrictions. Currently, the most common replacement gases for our 404A in equipment that is already in operation are our 448A, our 452A, and our 449A.